Hey, it's Lucy. One of the things I was most looking forward to about my two week holiday last month was getting away from notifications. There aren't that many in my life normally. On my phone, I have no sounds at all except for calls. And though I will let it tell me how many texts I have, I don't have any banners that come through. Emails I get nothing for at all and definitely nothing for say, Twitter or WhatsApp. But on my computer, I have both texts and emails coming through as and when they come. And I hadn't really realized how interruptive that was till I went away. I had two weeks hiking in some of the remotest places in the UK, where phone signal was sporadic and 4G was laughable. And I didn't think about my emails once, except for the, hey mom, I'm still alive ones. And thanks to an out of office signature, the kind that says, hey, I'm not gonna be around until X date, I knew that everyone else knew I wasn't thinking of my emails either. Or so I thought. It turns out that the signature didn't work for some Absurd reason. It only worked when my laptop was turned on, which is surely the exact opposite point of an email signature. But here's the thing. I had over 200 emails waiting for me when I returned, and of those 200, only two really, really needed to be responded to. Two out of 200. That's 1%. The rest were admin notices, course reminders, seminar notices, spam from journals, and though some of these I did want to reply to, what struck me was how few of these were time critical. So why, I asked myself, do I have my emails popping up at the side of my screen as and when they come through? Granted, there are times when getting emails through immediately has its perks. For instance, a supervisor can meet me right now, or sometimes invigilating jobs come up that are literally gone within minutes. But overwhelmingly, this accidental two-week experiment of mine showed it's really not necessary. Think about it. You're in the zone, working on whatever task you've set yourself, and you let this pop-up interrupt you at the side of your screen several times an hour. I wouldn't let myself be distracted several times an hour by biscuits or tea, things that are genuinely life-improving and vital. So why do I let my emails do it when there's a 99% chance it won't be urgent. There's several things you can do to help reduce the distractibility of your emails on a win. Ahaha, <laughs> Windows. There's several things you can do to reduce the distractibility of emails on a Mac, which is what I use. One, you can go to preferences in mail and select check for new messages every half hour, every hour, or even manually. Two, you can go to notifications in system preferences and change your mail alert style to not show the pop-up banners, meaning you'll still receive emails in real time, but you get to choose when to know about them. Or three, and I do this when I'm really immersed, just turn on do not disturb, that way absolutely nothing gets through. As for texts, I do like them to come through on my laptop when I'm just chilling, and I can't be bothered changing settings like that several times a day. So what you can do is just not have messages open, or do not disturb will also take care of that. The concept of notifications has been bothering me for a while now, ever since I learned that it was a conscious decision to make that little badge thing bright red, which tricks our brains into thinking that they're urgent and need to be dealt with immediately. For this reason, I've slowly been phasing them out wherever I can. I said earlier I get no notifications for Twitter or WhatsApp, but can you go one further than this? Do I need them on my phone at all? Twitter is just a high-tech time-wasting device, so no, I do not have that on my phone. And I've even gone so far as to block the site in Safari, so that if I really do want to tweet on the go, I have to physically download the app. Despite cutting down on the myriad of messaging apps available, I regrettably do need WhatsApp because of family and work-related chats. However, no badges, which means that I just get to check manually whenever I'm interested. Facebook I got rid of long ago because I personally got nothing from it, and my only regret is I didn't do it sooner. Thankfully, I've never had Instagram, and though obviously I use YouTube, I tend not to browse it. Reddit I no longer go on at all because I could just lose hours to it, and deleting my Tumblr four years ago was nothing short of liberating. With so few things to check, or to alert me, or to distract me, my workspace and my life have become commensurately decluttered. If I have a lapse of concentration, I still find myself drifting to distract myself, but now I have a second to catch myself in the act and go, whoa, let's keep working. Streamlining what apps I let into my life has made me feel much more in control of things. I now feel a lot more chilled about not being constantly connected, and it's left me with time to crack on with things that I really want to, whether that's work or side projects, things I never realized I had time for. But I'm hardly an extremist when it comes to productivity, and I'm still learning, so what I want to know is, what are your tips? How do you keep technology working for you and not breaking your focus? How do you discipline yourself to stay on task when we've never had more to distract us? Please let me know in the comments or come find me on Twitter where you can find me at several carefully limited times of day. Thank you for watching and if you like what you've seen then please do subscribe or check out the other videos on my channel. My name is Lucy Kizik, I'm a third year PhD student at the University of Oxford and take care.